My name is Tavis Curtis, and I'm 19 years old, and I'm from a hood that's called Hobart. That's uptown Northwest D.C. Oh yeah, Mr. A told me about angling, <laughs> angling pictures. I just can't take a regular picture. I, I gotta angle it. I think my photographs tell different parts of how my life is. I got different characters in my pictures, and like um, every character means something. Oh, every character meant something. Take it to the elevator that we had to get on. This, this is the elevator that I use every day to get up and downstairs. So this elevator means something. Because I use this elevator every day. I got shot when I was 16 years old. I got shot when I was 16 years old. I'm probably laughing, but when I laugh, uh, like, I'm the type of person that I'm, I will give you a laugh before I give you a, a sad face. But I got shot, and it just, like, changed my life for the worse at that moment. But um, now and I believe it changed it for the better. Tavish is one of many at-risk youth learning to harness the power of photography to rebuild their lives and, as he says, to change them for the better. The program is organized by Critical Exposure, a nonprofit that works in low income area schools of Washington, D.C. Emma and Andrew are Critical Exposure teachers. They introduce Tavish to basic photography skills and techniques. Don't take one photo of your phone because who knows, maybe your finger was in it, maybe it's blurry, whatever. It's very hard to tell what a photo looks like on here. They encourage Tavish to make compelling photographs that help him explain and understand his own life. I saw the one photo of your, of your sister. Her stomach is huge. Is she about, is she about to have her baby? Yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's my mother's first grandchild. Oh, my oh, wow. stomach is huge. Okay. You're an uncle. Yeah. All right. I think I took a photo of my pregnant sister, and she told me early day, like, she gonna keep she gonna make sure her baby had this, make sure her baby had that. And I, and I just like stand behind her when she say stuff like that. So that's like the next hope in a generation. Photography is just one component of Critical Exposure's mission. They also train at-risk youth to speak publicly, a skill uncommon to most of these students. They told me a whole lot of stuff. Actually, they broke my shyness because I'm a very shy person. And they, uh, and they really broke that by, by, like, by like being around me every day and just like keeping me feeling real calm and cool and collective. And I just like feel like that when, when um, Mr. A around me, the, uh, one of the members of Critical Exposure. But he told me, have faith in yourself, and I had faith in myself, and I did good. Students advocate for change based on the realities they photograph. Their work exposes policymakers to the inadequacies of their schools and draws attention to urgent social need. Today, Tavish invites a local official to an upcoming student exhibit. How you doing, uh, Ms. Councilmember Mendelson? My name is Tavish Curtis. I want to invite you to an exhibit of photos critical exposure photos on June 9th from... While Tavish makes phone calls, students and teachers prepare the gallery for the exhibit. These events give the students and their work a rare public platform. Teachers hang Tavish's portrait in the gallery. <laughs> That's really cool. Student photographs lining the walls reflect the challenges of this generation. My biggest fear is that every future gonna get worse. I mean, every generation gonna get worse and worse. And from my understanding, they say our generation or my generation is the worst generation. But well, people like me, uh, I think we can make it better. Cause I got a whole lot of hope in myself.